Nicole Ellis is a certified professional dog trainer with Rover.com. Welcome to the show. Yeah, how are you guys? We're, we're living the dream. We're hanging in there. Whatever that is. <laughs> Where are you calling from, Nicole? I'm calling from Los Angeles, California. Are you able to leave your house or your home, or are you guys locked down still? We are on new lockdown, so we're locking down again. Um, I've had COVID, so I've been through that, and... Just staying safe. What were your staying symptoms, in. if you don't mind me asking? How, how What was that experience like? Um, I had a lot of them, but I had a very mild case. So I felt like I got hit by a car. My whole body hurt, and I had a cough that wouldn't go away. And I had like three or four days where I just could not wake up. Um, but yeah, didn't feel great. But I definitely was got very, very lucky. <laughs> and I donated plasma and done what I can to help other people that's awesome that's that's a story in itself right there thanks for the call <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so we're in illinois and um you know we got wisconsin 30 minutes away from us and we're, we're we were just talking off the air about how you know states are reshutting down and people in in our area are complaining about having to wear masks in stores and throughout life and we're like hey man we could be shut down what if wisconsin shuts down again or we get shut down again that we're gonna all of our businesses are gonna close and Nicole, the reason we reached out to you is because Illinois or Rockford, where we live, is not having fireworks this year. Therefore, a lot of people are shooting fireworks off already at their homes, and my dogs are terrified. We're having the same thing happen at our house. And same thing, they shut down fireworks near us, and it's worse than it's ever been. Just so loud. I think everyone's going a little crazy right now, too. So it's horrible so what can people with pups and dogs do to keep their anxiety and their stress levels low while fireworks are continually launched over the next couple of days absolutely the best thing we can do is be prepared as much we can i mean this is a scary time for our animals they simply do not understand what's going on um so first of all make sure your doors are locked we don't want a lost dog it's the number one days where dogs and cats go missing out of the entire year so even if you have your windows open at all, like make sure they can push screens out. So close the doors, close the windows. If you're going for a walk, make your walk earlier. People are lighting fireworks at random times of the day nowadays. So if you're normally going right when it starts to go dark, get out there a little bit earlier so you're not outside walking when things start to go crazy. Um, and I say try to stay home with your pets. Like try to be there to comfort them if they need it. I know a lot of us want to go to friends' houses and have a barbecue and things like that. And that doesn't help our animal. If you can't try to have a friend or a pet sitter or someone come over, Rover has pet sitters, so that they're not alone. Um, another thing is try to redirect your pet's attention. So maybe you can get him to play ball, um, tug his favorite toys, his favorite treats, bully sticks, get him to focus on something else. Um, in my own home, I always try to keep our house busy when fireworks are going on. So that's playing TV, playing music doing fun activities so we can try to drown out fireworks, which is not so easy. I know that. I have one that's very nervous also. Um, if your dog does hide and your dog's super nervous, don't force your dog out. That's just going to make things worse. Um, so you can set up a nice, quiet, cozy area for your dog where they can go and relax in a corner or somewhere that they might want to hide. Um, but we don't want to, like, get them more stressed out by bringing them out. That's not going to help anybody. And if you know you have a dog that really gets stressed, you can also consider there's anxiety outfits and things, and that's really compression that relaxes them. If you don't have one of those, an ace bandage can work great, too. Um, you want to wrap around the rib cage and the shoulders. You don't want it too tight, but it should be snug. And sometimes that same way we like weighted blankets, sometimes that helps calm that anxiety for our animals. Um, if you've used CBD in the past, some animals, it does help them, but you're not going to want to wait till July 4th to start that. You're going to want to see how your pet reacts to it. Um, but basically, staying home and try to be calm yourself. If you're nervous, as we all know, our animals pick up on that, and we don't want them being more nervous. We're trying to help them through this situation. Um, so as you can, try to wear your pet out during the day. This is a great time to do doggy play dates during the day. Because as we've seen, when we have a busy day, our dogs are exhausted. And that's what we want. An exhausted dog at night is not going to be as stressed out with all these crazy sounds going around. And if we can, talk to our pets. Tell them they're okay if they're not completely hiding. Tell them the world's not ending. Here we are. Why don't we play a game? Why don't we do something fun? Try to communicate the best we can to help them get through this crazy time. <laughs>
Nicole, so people that aren't familiar with Rover.com, what other services can we get there? So Rover offers dog walking, pet sitting, doggy daycare, and what's great is everyone in your neighborhood. So you can find someone potentially in your own apartment building or on your own block, um, super close by. And it's great for times like these. If you need to have a doggy play date during the day, you can find a pet sitter that does daycare in their own home. So wear your dog out. And it's great for times where we might be working from home still. I know a lot of us are. And our dogs need some attention during the day. They might be pestering us while we're trying to work. So getting them an extra walk in, getting some play dates. And when we can eventually travel again, having a pet sitter nearby to your pets in a home. And that's what it's all about, creating a non-stressful experience. So I want my dog to stay in a home. I'm sure all of you do just as well. Thank you, Nicole, for your time. Again, Rover.com has everything you need for your pet. And uh, we, we appreciate the, uh, the tips on how to keep our furry family members calm or as calm as possible while people are launching these fireworks this weekend. Be safe, everybody.